What's up everybody and welcome to another video. Guess where I am? Just look at the bikes. What country do you think I'm in? Copenhagen, Denmark. Incredible. I never thought I would be in Denmark, Copenhagen. I've, I've done a visit to Sweden, but and uh, I've gotten messages from a lot of my viewers. They're like, come to Denmark. You gotta come to Denmark. It's very close to Sweden. I never got a chance to take the ferry across and, uh, and now I'm finally here. I got invited by um, a poker company called Unibet and they invited a lot of streamers to come you know play against each other in this big tournament and I already competed against a lot of the streamers I <laughs> it was live stream that was actually the first to get knocked out pocket kings versus pocket aces yes I did want to do well in the in the sit down poker table because I love poker and I and I've been playing poker for a while and I think I'm getting pretty good at it. So it was unfortunate that I, that I was the first to get knocked out, but I'm super excited that there's another tournament um, today and it's the big tournament. It's the thousand euro entry, I think it is. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a euro, but let's say it's like a thousand equivalent, a thousand dollar US entry. And that's a, that's a huge tournament and I get in for free. So I get to compete in that. And if I win, I have a chance of winning something like 400,000 euros or something like that. Right now it's 8.30 in the morning. I just had the most epic breakfast. That's one thing about Europe, I'm telling you. Like I've been to a lot of hotels in the US and where they include a breakfast, but it does not compare to the breakfasts in Europe. The amount of food that they serve in Europe and the variety of breads and stuff like that is incredible. That's an awesome place. We ate there last night. Or the night before last night. It was Thai cuisine. Oh, elevator. I'm gonna head up to my room so you guys can see it. I got to take a flight. <laughs> I was actually in California, in San Francisco, the same day I had to fly out to come here to Denmark. And I took a, like a five hour with a connecting flight all the way to um, Orlando. And then I had to get on the Norwegian flight, which is a nine hour straight. I didn't know there was a straight flight from... Guys, there's a straight flight from Orlando to Denmark. It's incredible. It's still not nine hours. All right, this is my room. They have a little baggage space for your for your stuff. Oh, this is what I really like about the, the hotels here um, in Europe. You put the little card here, whoosh, turns on the light in the bathroom. I have my laptop set up for streaming. I was thinking about streaming on this trip, but the problem is um, I'm doing so much uh, poker stuff that I really haven't had time to stream, but I think I'll be able to stream maybe, uh, maybe if I get knocked out of the tournament. Look at Denmark, this is amazing. Look at this. The, I'm too high up though. Check this out. That is, I don't want to drop my GoPro. What I really like about, you know, Sweden and Denmark, like in this part of the world, everybody rides bicycles. And when I was in Sweden, that's I noticed everyone was on bicycles and everyone was fit. And uh, it's one of the reasons why I bought a bicycle uh, in the U.S. and I and I started riding bikes everywhere. I got inspired from what I saw in, on my trips to Europe. I hope I get to see a little bit of the, of the, the city before, before I leave. But like I said, um, this is going to be a huge tournament. And it's going to be kind of like the big, the big tournaments in the U.S., like the World Series of Poker. It's that big. So, I mean, the winner takes like 400,000 euros. That's incredible. And I have to last for three days. Three days! So they're telling me on the first day I have to take it easy. And what's really, I guess it's a good thing about poker. I'm a very, very tight player. So um, that works out for me. So I should be able to survive the first day, I think. I, I think I can handle it. I have to survive for two days and then I get the finals. The finals is on Saturday. And um, so if I do well in the tournament, that's all I'm gonna be doing this entire tournament. I'm not gonna be able to live stream. But I brought the setup just in case. I have some extra time. I can uh, come back to my room and, and, and still be able to live stream. So that's awesome. Or maybe I could just go out and explore. That'd be kind of cool. I'd love to go explore the city. Go down there. Check out the shops. Oh, by the way, I've been getting recognized nonstop. I do have a lot of viewers from Twitch um, and from YouTube that uh, that recognize me here in, in Sweden and in, in Denmark. So I've been getting recognized everywhere. Are you Swifty? No way! And they come up, hey, let's take a picture. It's, that, it's been nonstop since I got here. Even though even the employees in the hotel, so I'm super excited. As for equipment that I brought, I brought some live streaming equipment. Uh, this is like a, a gimbal for my phone. Um, I bought this. Uh, because I, I was thinking about doing IRL live streams um, on the street, but it, I think it's good for a recording video. But actually, I like this camera. The camera that I'm holding right now is a GoPro. Oh my god! With a stabilizer. There it is. 
Unibet Poker Player Swifty. I always end up bringing too many cables and stuff. Extra tripods. Um, I like technology. I like building stuff. And guess what? I'm missing a cable. Like, I have a GoPro here. I have a GoPro on, on one of these things. And um, I, had, I have a, a micro HDMI to HDMI. And I, I think I left it in California. The only cable that I'm missing, man. I also got, a, I got an extra a phone in case I want to do some vlog straight from my phone. Um, like for example, the videos that, that are that are in this video or in this uh, in this GoPro, uh, the normal thing that I want to do with these with this GoPro is basically film, low, you know, upload them to my phone wirelessly, wireless, wirelessly, and then edit it on my phone and upload them straight from my phone. That way, that way it can be fast and, and efficient. I can I can I can actually um, get more IRL videos out. That's what I want. The the main problem with IRL videos is that there's no time. <laughs> There's no time, man, between the YouTube, uh, between between the YouTube gameplay channel, and um, you know my live streaming schedule and, and doing events. I'm going to a lot of events now. Um, it's very difficult, you know. Uh, my editor usually helps me out and 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 to to edit these videos. These are the strength. These are the uh, the converters that you have to have. Now in Europe they use 220, I think. All I know is the converters have to be these ones. These are the thick, the long converters, because there's Imagine there's a there's one without this piece, right? And if you have it without this piece and it's very short, they tend to get hot. Trust me, your equipment gets hot and stops working. Especially like if you bring broadcasting equipment, I know. So when they had these in the hotel, and they I, I asked for three of them. <laughs> I have to give them back though. You know, normally when I go to poker tournaments, I don't wear glasses like when I when I compete in Florida, but um, these have been really cool. They've been really nice. Helps me hide my emotions. When I'm excited that I got three of a kind, I'm like, <gasps> and I'm like uh, trying to hide my excitement, my enthusiasm, or my nervousness. There's gonna be lots of poker pros in this tournament, so I'm I'm, um, I'm a little bit concerned. Poker pros, they got this down. I think they a poker pro can look at you and be like, oh, so you have jack ten, and we're like, oh, how did you know? <laughs> they can mind read you. So you have to like hide. They, they can look at your face and know exactly what you have. All right, I think uh, it's about time to head downstairs. I'm gonna meet up with Hotted and uh, Hotted hasn't messaged me. We're supposed to all meet at the VR session um, at 8.49. There's, there's a VR poker. So we're gonna be doing that. So in the eSports Battle Royale where I competed against the other streamers, I, had, I was competing against Scott Ball. Papa Drajic, SEO, he's the one who, uh, that I lost to. Um, I had pocket kings, he had pocket aces. Very tense moment, early in the tournament, <laughs> and I lost. Um, and then Pythigis, he's actually a Hearthstone pro, and uh, I do play a lot of Hearthstone. He saw me playing Hearthstone on my phone, and he was like, you play Hearthstone? No way, and I was like, well, you gotta make me a deck. Like, I need, I need one, and uh, uh, later on, he was like, all right, let me see your phone. He made me an insane deck. It's actually a Paladin Murloc deck. And I'm actually, right now I'm just, I, I can't stop winning. It's amazing. So, thank you, thank you, Tidges. Um On screen, very surprised us, but I think he, I think he bluffed too much, but he got away with it. And you know, I think I caught him once with his hand in the cookie jar, like I was waiting for it, because I'm a very tight player. So, um, loose player versus a tight player, and I finally got his hand in the cookie jar. Hotted eighty nine. Um, Hotted, Hotted did uh, what he plays. He didn't place in the top three, but um, we had a lot of fun. It was amazing. So we're looking forward to the, the, like the new tournament that's coming out. So here I am. I'm in the. Okay, I'm going to be testing out this game, and it's a it's a VR. What is the game uh, called? It's called Lucky VR. Lucky VR. Yeah, we made it. And it's a Texas Hold'em poker with a VR, and you get to play with other players. It's amazing. You can see them in the virtual world. Oh, this is the chip stacks. This is awesome. I think it would be good. It's great to play on a on a table. Like to, and line up the table with a virtual table so it looks like you're actually, you can feel the, the table. All right, so click on both thumbs to center, to center your view in the game. <gasps> no way! <laughs> wow! Oh, so I could choose. Oh my God. Three thousand. Oh, buy chips. Uh, say, yeah. yeah. I don't know how many chips to buy. So oh, oh right the game's going to start. Yeah, just your right. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So the game's going to start in five seconds. Okay, here we go, boys. Dude, you see my chips? All in. <laughs>
there is a way you can go. So you should now get cards. Again, you pick them up as you've done before. Don't yeah, look at my cards, guys. But yeah. Let me pick up my chips. <laughs> oh man, I get. So to pick them up properly, if you use your index finger. Uh -huh. Alright, I think it was. So you need to just. Oh, you can see the cards. Oh. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's a good hand. How do you? Oh, it's kind it of is, backwards, uh, though. A little bit. So you there's a way to do it. Just the headset. Yeah, there's yeah, a way to do it. The, so so you just hold oh, your right okay, I see. Um, what's really cool is right. I can see. Right. Cool. I can right. see right. my person to my left, and I can see the person in front of me, and I can hear them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can see them. <laughs> really? You really see it? Yeah. yeah. Really? That's oh, you got nothing. No, of course not. Otherwise, I don't show them. So we'll make sure we can change the seats in the same. Yeah, you gotta fix that. So but you, you can't can really see that because that's cards? cheating. I yes. can see your cards. You're showing them. <laughs> King two. <laughs> so yeah, I know. So you'll see mine. No cards are up on the table. How did you do that? <laughs> Wait, what is that? How yeah. much money? So, yeah. <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> you start, do you know who starts the games? Toys. Okay, hold on. I need more more bills. Right. Uh, wow. Down and we'll get some wow. Get my What's up, dude? dude. Reactions. So what did you think? That was so How good. It was like a full yeah. VR experience. It was like totally okay. in oh, there. Cool. Yeah, I always love it. Interacting with each other. Uh, the only thing is, I could see your cards if I lean re really yeah. far over. Yeah. I saw that. That was amazing. Uh, was and you can accidentally it. show them really too. Yeah, I accidentally so showed them. It's yeah. actually really real, but it's, yeah. you can do whatever you want. It's, you have so much options. It's insane. Yeah, this would this this would be a fantastic game for streamers to collaborate and play together. Fantastic. It, in this game, like it's totally virtual, re uh, virtual react, virtual reality, right? Yeah. So the person's next to you, and as they talk, you can hear them right next to you. So when you put on the headset, it, it seems like you're in there, and uh, you can actually lean over. I, I leaned over like this, and, you can, and then they lift their cards, and you can see their cards. What? <laughs> If you super lean over, yeah, it works. And what's really cool is all the, all the little toys that you can use to uh, you know, look at the cigar, look at him lighting. <laughs> That's cool, man. So I think you're going to like it. Dude, we had so much fun. This is definitely a game that we could collab with. With, That's so funny. with other streamers, we could definitely have a poker night, and it'll be a blast. And it's you and theme, too. Yeah, we got to do it, man. All right, so Rick, let's do follow, follow the leader. I'll follow you and you do a trick and then uh, follow me, I'll do a trick. We're doing a great cardio. We're just skating nonstop, nonstop. We're practicing right now the ollie. Um, Rick and I used to compete in, uh, in skateboarding. We were amateur skateboarders and um, I competed a little bit in the US and I went to Puerto Rico. And in one of my one of my first like major contests in Puerto 